Hi, I'm James Boyd, and welcome to Security Matters. Think for a second about all of the data you have stored online. You have an email account. You probably have an online bank account. You may even pay your credit card balances or car payments on the internet. What all of those things have in common is that you need a password to access them. Over the next few episodes, we're going to talk about passwords and security questions. These basic questions allow you to access your most confidential and private data. And yet, most people don't give much thought to their passwords to begin with. That allows hackers to figure out your password, which is essentially giving them a key to your data. Before we get into making a good password, we're going to talk about how hackers actually get your password to begin with. There are four main ways they use. The first is the most obvious. They steal it. Ever enter your PIN code at the grocery store in front of other customers in line? It's the exact same concept. Anyone can look over your shoulder and watch as you type it in. Or, if you have yours written down, they can simply find it there on your desk. Guessing. Study after study shows that people often use incredibly easy to guess passwords. In the next episode, we'll reveal the world's most popular password. It's so easy to guess, you won't believe it's actually true. But here's what we do know. Men often choose four-letter obscenities as their passwords. Women, on the other hand, are far more likely to use the names of a loved one or a birthday or anniversary. A brute force attack. This is a process in which a computer program runs through every possible combination of letters, characters, and numbers to crack a passcode. Modern technology allows this to be done extremely quickly. A six-character passcode can be cracked in as little as 13 minutes by a high-performance computer. Finally, there's a dictionary attack. This method is a bit smarter than a brute force attack in that a program runs through all the words in dictionaries until it stumbles upon the right word. This form of attack is generally successful because many people simply choose existing words as their passwords. If they're really clever, they'll add a number to the end, like Indiana 1812, for example. But dictionary attacks can crack those quickly. Now that we know how attackers get passwords, we'll look at how to create effective ones. Look for that episode next week on Security Matters. <laughs>